Yo, what's going on guys? How is it going? It is Tyler here and today I'm bringing you another Pi Day Friday. Welcome back guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful Friday. Wonderful Friday. Starting off great. Just stumbling all over the words. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Creeping up to the weekend so that's always exciting. So I hope you guys are excited for it. I will be making a lot of videos, doing a lot of things. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for all of that. But today guys, I am trying none other than Jolly Ollie's. Jolly Ollie's Pizza. Now it is here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I do apologize right off the bat. I already have indigestion because I did pair this wonderful pie with a nice wonderful Bard's root beer. Now the reason I got this, I'll get into it, but um, yeah, uh, it's it's there's a reason. But anyway, we, we are trying Jolly Ollie's, and um, it is from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Um, that is the location I am around. It's right outside of Nashville, and so it actually originated, I believe, in 2010, and they started off in a 2,000 square foot building uh, within the first, uh, it was like the first Hendersonville Walmart, uh, so that's where they started off over there in that shopping center so i'm pretty excited to try it because since it is uh more local uh, i've been trying more chains and stuff like that uh, but today i will be trying again jolly ollies and without further ado i will show you guys the pie because that is why you're here isn't it it better be because the look of the pie is everything just kidding it's about the taste let's go ahead and open it up take a look at it and it oh it, it looks well the boy wants to come out of the box. But it does look very delicious. It does look a lot fluffier than some of the ones that we have tried before. Um, let me go ahead and get in here so you can get a, a better view of this right here. But um, it looks like we do have a good portion of cheese to sauce ratio. We do have a thicker crust on there. So uh, that's, 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 I mean, I'm not going to complain. I like my crust. I, I think I've explained that before, but I do like my crust. Um, now, it is giving more of the cheese on top, looking at it, giving a little bit of a, a uh, what's it called? Um, what was the last one we did? Was it bricks? The way the bricks cheese was. Now, picking this up immediately, we do have a nice little flop here, right? We have a nice flop. The cheese is not stiff like bricks pizza was. Um, now we'll go ahead and get a close-up uh, you can see the cheese is definitely fresh it is nice and melted and glistening that's always a nice thing to see uh, again it does look like it is a nice cheese to sauce ratio uh, but without further ado we are gonna it is a little bit doughy it is a little bit doughy we'll, we'll look at the bottom uh, just it, you can you can maybe see that crust a little bit doughy a little bit doughy but let's go ahead and try our first bite pie day friday again this is jolly ollie's in hendersonville tennessee and uh let's go ahead and try our first bite cheers hmm. okay now Right off the bat, and I don't know, I don't know why this is so weird. This is such a weird comparison. When I first bit into this, I thought of the ice skating rink, and I don't know why. I do know why, and it's not really necessarily ice skating, but just like a skating rink. It's giving me the cheese, the flavor of this mozzarella, is true like mozzarella. It's giving the taste of um, a mozzarella stick. And so, like, ball field, concession stand, skating rink, uh, that's that's immediately where my mind went to. It kind of, it really does kind of have, like, a, a, a mozzarella stick flavor. If I had marinara and dipped this in marinara, I usually dip my pizza in ranch. But this is, this is a pizza that would be really good in marinara. I'm not going to fib to you. Now, I can say the reason it tastes like a mozzarella stick is because that sauce isn't punching through. It's like all cheese. So, right off the rip, 
if I was going to score it, um, price wasn't bad. Price wasn't bad at all. Uh, let's see how many slices we got. We got two, four, six, eight, eight slices. Um, and it was, it was cheaper than Domino's. It was cheaper than Domino's for eight slices. So I would say with just the flavor, it's like a ballpark. It's like a, it's, it's like concession stand flavor. Freshness is, is so beyond concession stand. It's not concession stand pizza. But just that fresh fresh mozzarella. You can really taste it. Really taste it. So, I mean, I, I guess that's a good thing. It, it's really tasting like mozzarella. Uh, but I really, again, that sauce, I'm waiting for it to just punch through and I can get a good taste of the sauce. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely a light sauce. So, if I was going to rate it, um, 1 through 10, I would definitely give this, my mind is, my mind is pushing like a 6, like a 6-6. Six, six. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw it over to the 7s. Eh, maybe. Not the cheese. I'm not going to throw the cheese over to the sevens. It's a six six. Uh, again, sauce is just really light. It's a little bit doughy. I do like my crust to have a little bit of a crunch to it. Um, not too much of a crunch, but just a little bit. Like the rest of the pie could be. I don't need it to be crunchy or whatnot, but at least the crust, like. If it's all the same consistency all the way up, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, if you're going to put the time into having some crust, have some crunch. Hmm. Okay. So I got a good bite of sauce. And 100%. It's very, very light. Like, the actual flavor, the tartiness of, of that, of that... Yeah, of that marinara, or I don't know what they use. This is very light. If it's marinara, it's very, very light. Like, it's not... It's not lightly applied. Again, that tartiness of it is, is very, very light. So, 6-6 six, six on Jolly Ollie's. Um... Now, if I was going out or something like that, like to sit down restaurant or whatnot, um, and I'm going out to get pizza, Jolly Ollie's, I would stop by. I would stop by. Again, it's local. It's an environment. It's a story, whatever. Um, and it's not bad pizza. Again, you get eight slices for pretty, I mean, cheaper than, than Domino's. Um, and I believe with toppings and stuff like that, like I believe Jolly Ollie's Supreme, probably, probably, Probably does some numbers. Probably higher than a six six. I can probably tell you that. But yeah, it was decent. Now I did pair it, like I said, with a bargain root beer, and the reason of such is because it's like nostalgia for me. Why? Because I remember back in the day when when the old school Pizza Hut buffets. Um, I remember going in there as a kid. And just always just loading up on cheese pizza. Um, trying my mom's peppers and stuff like that because she liked all, all all everything. And uh, yeah, I would always get Barb's Root Beer. So Barb's Root Beer and pizza reminds me of those old school Pizza Hut days where it was such a treat. That when, when you pulled into the Pizza Hut drive through or not drive through but parking lot, you knew you were about to be watching some, some Cartoon Network. Sitting there eating unlimited pizza, drinking unlimited soda, going up and getting your own soda. It was it was a treat. So that's that's what it brings back. Those great memories. Cheers to root beer. Definitely superior. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. This was another Pie Day Friday. Again, this was Jolly Ollie's in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And, um, yeah, it, again, it was a 6-6 six, six on my end. Uh, but it could be a 10 in, in your world. And that's perfectly fine. But, guys, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely smack that like button. In the comments down below, let me know uh, what's your favorite pizza place and where did it originate? Where Where's your original like pizza place from? Um, and yeah, that I would definitely like to uh, kind of browse around, see what's in the area and see places that maybe near that I can travel to and try some new pizza places. But Without that, you know, I think I'm, I'm think I'm maybe full for one slice. That was a lot of cheese. But yeah, anyway, guys, again, this was Tyler. Again, smack that like button, hit that bell notification, just so you're notified every single time I post a video. I do post every single day. So with that being said, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy your weekend. Guys, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.